So I've had this Ford now for two days and I've been putting a lot of miles on it, just driving it and just getting a feel for it. And if you've watched any of my videos previously, I've given the Ford F-350 with the 7.3 a lot of accolades. I've got great fuel economy. I feel like the power is more than adequate for what I tow. I have a 40 foot fifth wheel as well. How about, um, actually I have it right here. I just haven't looked at it yet. It's, about probably about 12,000 pounds give or take in that ballpark. We used to live in a full time, it was 14.8. But overall, living with this gas HD has not been any less than stellar. And that's really hard to say coming from a diesel fanboy. And living with it day to day, I don't really notice a huge difference unloaded. And that's kind of what I was really looking forward to to getting this truck was not just towing with it but really getting a feel for it starting it up driving it and getting a feel for what it's like to have a gas HD normally in the past like a couple years ago I would never even consider buying a gas pickup unless it was for my YouTube channel but to have as a day-to-day -day driver I don't know back then if I could ever potentially do this because I like the feel in the just the overall like the presence that a diesel has like it has a nice presence on the road the weight of it and that's something I want to discuss in this video and start off with is one thing I've learned about with you know pickups is weight equals stability now this is a base model Lariat it doesn't have a lot of options on it and it has an 18 inch wheel and something that I've really gathered from this truck is that it feels light on its feet so like right now you probably can see i'm towing my fifth wheel and i i just noticed that i don't have that same confidence and that's kind of like one of my biggest pet peeves with like thinking about buying these trucks is because this truck weighs about seven thousand pounds 7100 pounds with me in it and so when you think about a diesel a diesel weighs about 1300 pounds more in some cases and of course, if you add some options to it, 20 inch wheels, the weight does jump up a little bit more in that 8,300 pound range. But with this truck, like right now, I have the tires maxed out at 80 PSI's and I can really feel the trailer from the pin kind of moving the truck, you know, left to right and kind of around in a circle. And that's in part to the tires, but really is in part to the weight of the truck too. Um, I did get it weighed and I did do a video on it. The only problem is I'm doing all these videos at once because I'm about to return the truck And so I haven't looked at anything yet So I can't even tell you the numbers because I just got it weighed and I just left so That's something that I really really was hoping this not feel With the time that I had with this truck, so it, it is definitely light and if you're someone that travels on back roads or if you go camping, you know somewhere in the boonies and the speed limits never get over 50 miles an hour this is a perfect truck but once you get on the highway you're getting passed by cars and you have to hit the brakes you start to really feel just how light this truck is and I think that's probably my biggest pet peeve with this is it just doesn't feel you know secure and who can deny the horsepower and torque that diesels have like this truck has what is it 430 horsepower 475 pound feet of torque and even with that kind of performance it doesn't come close to its diesel sibling the power stroke has 475 horsepower and now they just offer up a new high output power stroke that has 500 horsepower and the torque numbers are well over a thousand pound feet so that's where this truck really falls short but if you really think about it the way that a gas engine puts down the power and because they can gear the truck lower out back you do have great performance overall I would say that if I were towing a trailer 15,000 pounds is probably all of it when you're considering something like this now this is where the diesel just really kills a gas engine now, if I were to drop this down into a manual mode, Ford's 10 speed doesn't have aggressive downshifts as the GM's 10 speed had when I used 
use it on my Duramax diesel. And even if I turned the exhaust brake off, I still felt like the transmission was a little bit stronger with downshifting. And with a gas engine, because there's no exhaust brake, you really are limited to using maximum performance with your trailer brakes. In the past with my, uh, with my diesels, I've always had it around six and a half to seven. With this truck, I believe I have it around, yeah, I have it at eight and a half because I do feel like uneasy and unsettled on this because of that. And I think that's kind of what makes this truck such a hard buy for me. Living with a diesel for so long, I'm just used to that extra weight that the truck has. I'm used to having the exhaust brake. Despite it not working that great in the GM, if you do manually shift it and have the exhaust brake on, it's as strong as Ram's Cummins and Eisen setup. Now here's a big kicker for me. When I was climbing some grades, pulling the trailer, I didn't get it on camera unfortunately because it was too late and it wasn't that, that long of a grade. But when I accelerated, it was in cruise control, it accelerated on its own really, it was really loud. And I really would think that if my wife and I were to drive this truck together, she probably would not like that. She probably would get annoyed if she could hear this for like 10 minutes going up grade because there have been times when we've been going up grades constantly and just hearing that engine ringing out like that, it, it is kind of annoying. Like it is kind of hard to live with that. So that's something else that I've really considered in my head. Like, man, if I ever decided I want to get a gas pickup, that is something that really would kind of bother me. And something else that I've had a problem wrap my head around is the fuel cost. Obviously diesel is way more expensive than gas. There's no comparison. However, if you're gonna be towing like this, it's very, very strongly recommended. And I think Ford actually shows it in the owner's manual that you're supposed to use premium fuel. You're not supposed to use the 87, 85 that you see on the pump. You're supposed to use the higher grade premium fuel when you're towing. And a lot of people don't really talk about that. Now I have talked to a few owners and there are mixed feelings with whether you should use premium or not. Some have mentioned, like one of my friends, some more RVs, AKA Ryan, he has said that he uses 87. He says, I haven't really noticed any difference in performance, but sometimes that might be because the truck is pulling timing. So I would venture to say, consider using premium fuel with this type of pickup because it's a, a little bit more added cost, but you have to think of it like this. If you plan on keeping the truck a long time and you're towing heavy, you don't want your truck pulling timing. You want it to really work at its peak performance. And that's just something that you have to consider. Last, but certainly not least, let's talk about gearing. So in most cases, most manufacturers allow you to gear the truck lower in the rear. And Ford is no exception to that. Now, something that I've discussed in videos is, if you want max tow, you have to go with the lower gearing. However, with this truck, I don't know if the max tow is worth it because as I mentioned earlier in this video, this truck is loud in the high RPMs. And so running this truck with a 430 rear end may not be the best way to go, but if you really do want that grunt, if you live in areas where there's steep grades, that might be something you have to consider. So in this video, I really want you guys to understand something. There are a lot of benefits to this engine and I've talked about them a lot. You know, even right now, like, told my fifth wheel, 40, 45. Like it's, it has the power, but you hear that? It's loud. It's and sometimes it takes it a little bit of time to shift into the next gear and it's just loud so that's why in my opinion i think that the diesel is a viable option for those who tow a lot like if you're on the highway constantly i would not consider a gas pickup I know that the diesel is more expensive and I know that the emission is more expensive. I know they have diesel exhaust fluid and they have all this emissions crap, but the diesel really does check a lot of boxes. And that's something that you have to consider between the two. But if you're somebody who tows a trailer a few thousand miles a year 
and you live in the city or you do a lot of low speed city driving, this is really the option you should get. I think you can tow a trailer easily up to about 15,000 with this pickup. So long as you stay within your payload, obviously, but there's a lot of advantages to this pickup. Like I got nine and a half MPGs on the highway and <laughs> I was very appalled by that because there were some grades, there were some times where I was climbing a little bit, but there were some times when I was going down a good bit too, but for it to get nine and a half MPG, I was very, very, very satisfied with that. Because if I had a diesel on the same route at the same speeds, I think that I would have gotten probably like maybe 10 and a half or so, but nine and a half miles to the gallon in a gas truck towing 13,000 pounds, 12,000 pounds in that ballpark, is really good and again the power the delivery and when you're unloaded the truck is quiet like when you're just cruising normally out of tow haul mode and you're just going down the road the truck is as quiet as a diesel but if you don't tow that much or if you just want to pick up truck to do a lot of hauling with if you own a big property i would 100 percent put this on my list like 100 percent and I recommend the 7.3. Like, this is a great engine option in this segment. I don't know why, you know, I haven't had a chance to tow with the truck sooner. If I did, I probably would have tried to find a 7.3 before I bought my Duramax diesel because this truck is really good. Like, I, I'm serious when I say this. I was very, very pleased with the time I've had with this pickup. Like, it has been amazing. And I was expecting to kind of come back and say, oh, well, the diesel is just way better. It creates greater gas miles. But the diesels aren't what they used to be. And they're not as reliable. So even if you talk about longevity, I think that that's still a mood point until these trucks are 10 years old and people are reporting the mileage on them. But that'll pretty much end this video. Like I said, I don't want to ramble anymore. I think that if you're in the market, the two points I made, if you do a lot of towing, a lot of highway driving, I think the diesel is still a better option. Now I wanna make a point really quickly. A lot of people talk about pricing and things like that. The gas engine is a great alternative to the diesel, especially if you don't tow often, but you do tow. And if you do live in a city, as I've mentioned, because diesel engines do not do well in the city because of the emission stuff. With that being said, I don't think it's a good idea to buy a gas engine to save money because there are great benefits for the diesel. And in a lot of cases, I think a lot of people are buying the 7.3 because of pricing. But if you are doing that, I think you should reconsider your thinking. I'm buying a gas engine truck because I'm not driving full time with my fifth wheel anymore. That's how I'm able to justify doing this. And I probably won't be towing as much heavy. So. I'm not gonna to be towing much over 15,000 pounds. Now granted, if you get a 430 rear F350 with the 7.3, then yes, you can tow heavy, probably up to about 15,000 pounds because you're running on a payload in some cases. But for the most part, I do believe that the gas engine does check a lot of boxes for people. And based off my experience with towing with it, it's a great engine, has great performance, and it will do the job for just about most people. But hope the video was helpful. Be sure to subscribe to the channel guys. Thank you so much for all the support. Like these last few videos I've been posting have been like doing really good. But yeah, thank you guys for subscribing and supporting the channel. See you guys soon.